What's good, YouTube? Deontay here. And so, Nala, get the f out of my video, gang. And in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys my workflow for how I edit music videos. Now, back when I was just starting out, this sh took years. Like, I promise you, between the laptop I was editing on, barely about to blow up running After Effects, and the method I was using to actually go about editing the videos, which was something that I brought from AMVs and was not working, like, it's not the way. These tips that I'm about to give you really cut my editing time down, like, not even in half, like more than half, honestly, like 70%. And I've just been perfecting, perfecting, perfecting ever since then, mixing it with the Premiere and After Effects and just, you know, overall finding the quickest way that I could edit videos. And I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys today. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna start off with a new project. Um, I literally am about to use footage from my actual music video shoot because I need to get this video done and there is no better way to do it without, you know, let me get a little bit of work done, you know, you know what I'm saying? So you want to go ahead, grab your footage, bring it all into your program, go ahead, drag that, import it to your program. Then you're going to go ahead and grab your song, drag that in there as well. After that, I like to start with making my composition with the actual song, dragging the song into the sequence because it just makes the sequence a little bit more tuned to the song. I don't, I don't know if that made complete sense, but I mean like the sequence is just shorter. So you go ahead and uh, alter the settings for your thing. Just make sure everything is straight before you go ahead and start editing. Then all of your performance clips, you're gonna wanna go ahead and drag to your timeline first. Make sure you don't drag too far to where it ends up deleting the audio that you already put there. And then after you have all of your clips set, uh, the first thing I like to do is color grade. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get that done real quick and then come back to this. As a matter of fact, I don't even have time for that. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into, we're just gonna assume that this footage is color graded and continue the tutorial like that. Next thing you're gonna wanna highlight all of the clips and the audio for the song, left click and then scroll up to synchronize. After you do that, you're gonna wanna make sure it's tuned to audio and then on the track channel that you have your main audio on, which in this case is one. After that, you click OK, and it literally syncs up the audio to your clips. This step will only work if your audio is audible from uh, picked up by the camera, and then it'll automatically sync up what part of the song it is to where it needs to be, as you can see. If your audio is messed up for whatever reason or it's not loud enough, what you're gonna have to do is literally sync them up yourself. So uh, usually when this happens to me, I just do it by reading lips. You can also mark where it should be on the clip and on the song individually and line them up that way. It's a, it's a bunch of ways you could do it, but this by far is the easiest way and this way saves a lot of time. So on to the next step. What I then do is go through the entire song and listen for the points where I want to switch the scenes at. Usually this is a beat drop or a hi-hat or when they're finished saying a word, you're gonna to wanna to switch it up in between so your music video is not at a constant flow of just switching, you know, systematically at every beat drop because the song is in a pattern. So I'm saying switches, your video is gonna look pretty formulaic and boring. So what I do is I just listen for both. I listen for really three things specifically, which is what I just mentioned, hi-hats, beat drops, and the words the artist says. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. Okay, so the camera is a little different is because I had to re-record this, but we're back. So after you go ahead and put all your markers in place where you want the scenes to switch, you're gonna go ahead and uh, I also forgot to mention that you unlink this and then delete the audio clips and then you know delete the tracks so you know you have more space to work with. But um, after you do that, you're gonna go ahead and select each individual clip and assign a different color to it. This is just so you know the difference in which clips are which and you know, you can assort which clip. And yeah, it just makes the overall process easier. So after you do that, you wanna press C on the keyboard and go ahead and use the cut tool and start making a cut at each individual point that you place the marker at. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this clip and literally cut at each and every marker that I made. Okay, so after you've made your cuts, you're gonna wanna delete the audio because that's probably cut up with the clips. Restore the audio, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think 
it's more like a OCD thing for me. But after that, you basically have your entire video done. I mean, what you do with these clips from this point forward is you watch the clip, you watch it go through, and then you literally just delete whichever clip that you want to start next. So you have other clips underneath it, other clips underneath it, and you just delete it and see which clip you want to use and then go from there. Technically, you could literally just make it a building block by deleting it like this, deleting each one, deleting it just like simple. A simple like building block kind of way of doing it and you will literally have a music video. I'm gonna go ahead and play what that just created. So as you can see, doing this, you literally don't even have to analyze what you're doing to your clips, honestly. Like, if your clips are shot well enough, you could literally randomize however you delete the clips and just have random clips playing at the points that you put and it would create an entire basis of your music video. However, when I like to make the videos, I personally go through each and every clip and see which one is the best for why I have it. But you don't have to do this. This is just me making the process even longer than it has to be, honestly. If you don't put any effects on your music video, your video will be done in about 10 minutes using this method. But that's pretty much it. You just go through the entire video and just continue cutting wherever you want it to go. And then you have the entire baseline for your music video. After that, that's when you start with the editing. When I'm doing an actual video, either I continue editing through Premiere or I go ahead and render the clip out with no edits and just bring it over to After Effects and start doing the effects there. Regardless of how you do it, the baseline of your music video is already set and this is how you do it. This is how I do it. This is the fastest way that's worked for me. And this is probably the way I'm gonna continue to do it until I guess I find something that's more efficient. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, I want you to go ahead, hit it up with a like. Who are you barking at? Anyway, I want you guys to hit it with a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in my next video. Stay creative.